one cup of coffee. And coffee's a diuretic. They're definitely dehydrating themselves. So can we go to the next slide, Helen? I would say you need to be drinking six glasses of water, eight glasses of water, 10. You can even try a gallon, a gallon a day. Yes, you'll make a lot of visits to the bathroom, but it'll be worth it, especially if you're in a point where you wanna cleanse. Adding sea salt to your water is a great thing for that. So how do we wanna start? Well, we wanna avoid or eliminate sugar. If you wanna go all in, I would just eliminate completely. If you're just avoiding it, I would track how many grams of sugar are added to the food that you eat. Um, avoiding and eliminating wheat. Most wheat is hybridized and it, it's just not a good food. You know, our kids might eat a lot of wheat. I know I see a lot, there's wheat in everything really. I mean, you go in the grocery store and it's like 80% wheat things, crackers, breads. Um, if you really want to go all in on your journey, I would avoid dairy. Eliminate dairy for a certain period of time. I know there's there's good dairy options out there now, like grass-fed butter from Ireland and different things like that. But if you're making a big change, I would eliminate dairy for at least 12 weeks. And, and you might just want to eliminate it permanently. You know, dairy does different things in people's bodies and we're not really going to go into that. But when you're starting clean, it's just another thing to uh, avoid. Preparing your own food from scratch is an awesome thing to do. Using whole ingredients, eating whole things like oats, oatmeal, perhaps in the morning. Um, and then of course, eating more raw vegetables and berries. And really you could have a salad for breakfast, try to eat like two pounds of vegetables a day. I doubt you can do it. Berries are just a extremely nutritious food. They have so many antioxidants in them. They have iron. It's just a life-changing food. Raw vegetables and berries, steamed vegetables is a good thing. But remember, just drink water. When you're starting out, you want to drink lots of water. So let's have gratitude and appreciation for our bodies and our relationships. And let's bring value to ourselves and to our relationships and to our businesses. We want to bring value to you by selling you or serving you with the greatest ingredients. So thank you very much. Elena, are you there? Helen, you wanna? So next up, we're gonna have a demo by Elena Love. Sorry about that. I was, um, too many things were on my screen. Okay, so let me get Elena up here. So she's gonna get started. Hello, everybody. I don't know if you can see me. Helen, I think you need to stop the screen share for now. You guys You're are right. this, uh, as an email, so you don't really need to be looking at the recipe. So I want you to see what I'm doing and what I'm showing you. <laughs> um, so right now, Helen, it's showing your picture on the screen. So I think you just need to spotlight my video, please. You're on my screen, Elena. I am. Okay, so it's showing my videos. Okay, great. I see you in the blender and some okay, metal dates. It, but that's okay, as long as you guys can see it. Great, okay, well, we're gonna make today, we're gonna make a smoothie. And I love that we're starting with a smoothie because 
I feel like a lot of people have all these superfoods and I was really blessed because Natural Zing sent me a bunch of their superfoods so that I can show you guys all week all these different ingredients and how to use them. Because a lot of times maybe you'll go on a site like Natural Zing or you'll go into the health food store and look in the aisle with all the superfoods and like, well, where do, how do I do this? Where do I start? So um, I'm going to give you guys a lot of options and examples, but this particular smoothie, I've owned two different cafes over the years. One of them, the recent one was in Bend, and the, the Mesquite Magic Smoothie that I'm going to show you today was one of our most popular, and actually it's my favorite too because the flavors are yummy and creamy, and it doesn't taste like you're eating a health food. It just feels good in your body, and this is a something if you want to start doing meal replacements, like instead of eating your typical breakfast, usually a lot of people eat cereal and milk or eggs and bacon and toast. Um, start switching out with a smoothie. That's a really great way to start on a clean diet. Now I know a lot of you guys tuning in probably already are on the health track or on the raw food track or like know about this stuff, but maybe you have someone you can share this video with that doesn't know anything about clean eating that can uh, just, this is a great place to start. So maybe like you make Mondays your fasting day where you just have a smoothie twice a day and maybe a juice or something in between and like one day of just eating really lightly but then this could become your daily smoothie and this will keep you going till 2 in the afternoon if you have it for like a 10 a.m. instead of eating regular what you would have. So we're going to start with our almond milk and these almonds are from Natural Zing. They have these awesome almonds. I went ahead and soaked them because we always want to soak nuts and seeds and the reason for that I'm going to show you here is that when I pour this water off, this has been soaking overnight, you can see that there's a lot of brown, and that's called phytates, spelled with a PH. And um, it's also got just acids and things that keep us from digesting. Now, if you've ever eaten raw almonds on a you know trail mix and you find that you get a lot of gas and indigestion, it's because the nuts need to be activated. They need to be soaked and sprouted. So they're, these think they're turning into an almond tree. You don't want to let them go too long. Just overnight, rinse them, and then go ahead and use them. So then I would probably rinse these really well in the sink, and I already did that with this one that I'm going to put in the blender. I'm using a Vitamix today, but really you can use most blenders to make this. Instead of the coconut milk or water that you've got on your recipe, it says one cup, you can use any nut or seed milk. So this could be hazelnuts, it could be almonds, it could be pecans, it could be sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. Sunflower seed milk will turn brown though, so um, I don't, generally don't use sunflower seeds for milk, but you can. Uh, and then we're going to add some water, about two cups of water. So that was about one cup of soaked almonds, two cups of water, and then I'm going to add a little dash of salt. And this is um, the Natural Zing Pink Himalayan Salt that I'm putting in. Pink salt has so many minerals in it. The salt problems come from white salt, so you don't have to worry about it with the pink salt. You're going to get the, all the minerals that your body needs. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and put also... Um, some vanilla powder in here and a date, a natural zing date, medjool dates. These are nice and soft and squishy. If you want it, if you're on a low carb diet or a keto diet, you can just use stevia or just skip the date. But I thought I would show you kind of like the best, most palatable one, especially for beginners. A lot of this I'm teaching this week is for beginners. If you're already on the health track and you're already doing low carb and low sugar, then don't worry about the date. Okay, here we go. We're going to turn it on and we're going to blend it. Alright, so you don't want to blend it too long, but you want to blend it long enough that you don't hear the nuts rattling around in the blender. That's the key. Because if you don't blend it long enough, then you're not getting all the good new, you know, fat and good stuff out. Now, I'm going to be using the Amazing Nut Milk Bag today. This is my creation. We sell this on Pure Joy Planet. It's an awesome bag for straining things. Because in the past, I used to use a screen. It takes so long. And nut milk bags can be used for so many things. I already washed this one. You just hand wash it with dish soap. Put it over your wide mouth pitcher of any kind. This is a glass. I tend to use glass as much as I can. Then just pour this right through the bag and pull the drawstring. It's always important to pull that drawstring. Oops. And then just squeeze and strain. And you got this milk that'll last you five days in the fridge and you can add this to your smoothies. If you're going to be making a smoothie every day, then double this recipe and make like four cups of milk. Um, it's just so easy and quick to make. You can use cashews, 
you can use any nut or seed, like I said. Okay, and then you can save that pulp and make bread out of it. I have a good bread recipe on my website. And then we're just going to go ahead and add into the blender just the one cup of, um, all we needed for this recipe is one cup. So, and then I can just save the rest in a glass jar. And then I'm going to start adding all the other superfoods to this, which I have right here. And the reason this is great to have one of these smoothies is, like I said, a lot of times we don't know what to add into a smoothie, like to get the max nutrition. And, you know, some people might say, well, shouldn't you be eating just like whole foods from the garden? Yes, that's true. But because our soils are depleted and even with organic food, you might not be getting all the nutrition you need. This is something you can do even while you're traveling. Like if you can just find some coconut water somewhere or use water, you can just blend all these powders and you've got a great uh, smoothie. So uh, let's see, the first ingredient I'm going to add, I want to go in order, but I don't see that on the screen. So is my um, spinach or, or parsley. I like parsley better than spinach. Spinach tends to have um, a little bit more oxalic acid. And I got tested, I got my gut biome tested, and it said that I need to to avoid oxalates, but if you're someone who does well with like oxalic acid, then you can use spinach. But about one cup of chopped parsley, and parsley is so good, it's cleansing for the kidneys, it's great while you're on a clean food diet. Um, the next ingredient is some kind of green powder, a tablespoon of either spirulina, or this is natural zinc zura greens, and it has spirulina and chlorella. Chlorella is great for detoxing heavy metals, it's got some Irish moss, which also helps detoxify you. So if you're new to this, you might want to use this Zura Greens because it's going to be a little bit less um, cleansing. And I mean, it, you'll still be cleansing, but it'll be sucking up more of the toxins. So I can put about a tablespoon of that in. Then the next ingredient is some protein powder. Now, I don't like the protein powder that has pea starch in it because it's very bloating for me. And a lot of my customers have said the same thing. So we like to use the hemp protein, which Natural Zing does carry somewhere here. I have a bag of it. But anyway, this is Natural Zing's hemp protein powder, and it's just hemp. And hemp is so good because it's high in omega-3s and 6s and 9s. It's got the whole balance of omegas, which our brains need for fuel. Um, the magic ingredient in this is mesquite powder. This is Natural Zing's mesquite powder, and I'm using two tablespoons. And this tastes to me like graham crackers. I use this in my cheesecake crusts. I use this in a lot of things because it gives it that yummy, yummy flavor. It's a cooling food, grows in the desert. So during summer, it's a great time to add mesquite into your smoothies. Maca, Magic Maca, Natural Zing's Maca Powder um, is a hormone balancer. It's a libido booster. So if you need a little more sex drive, want a little more sexy time, put this in your smoothies. <laughs> Half a teaspoon is the a good amount for a day. You don't want to overdo it because then you could get out of balance. So about half a teaspoon. We've got some mineral salt here that I'm adding in. It was already in the milk, but you can add a little bit more into your smoothie as well. Just for kicks, I like to add a little chipotle powder, about an eighth of a teaspoon. But if you don't like things spicy, don't add it. But I find it adds that extra like zing, that feeling, that flavor that I really like. Uh, the next ingredient is almond butter. And you can also use soaked, and I soaked and dehydrated these almonds. After I soaked them, I just put them in the dehydrator for 48 hours at about 110. And these also make a great almond butter. So you could even throw like a big handful of these into your smoothie if you don't have almond butter or if you don't want to use almond butter. But today I'm using a sprouted almond butter that I bought online. I think I got it uh, somewhere. Drive market or something. So about two tablespoons. That's going to add, this is why this smoothie is so satisfying. It's got lots of good fat in it. Um, the other thing that's not in the recipe, but you can add, if you're wondering like how to get medicinal mushrooms into your diet, this is a 14 mushroom blend. If you don't drink coffee or tea and you don't do like your bulletproof coffee in the morning, you can add this into your smoothie as well. So you would probably just put like a teaspoon in. I'm not going to add it in because I already had my medicinal mushrooms today. Um, and then the other ingredient, the last ingredient, which I love in smoothies because it really creams it up, is um, an avocado, just half of an avocado. I need to drink some water. Um, and you can just, with this, you can just score it and then squish it in because you kind of want it squished in there. It's really good to chop it because otherwise it's just floating around in your blender and it doesn't get fully blended up. Um, I'm going to add stevia. 
for my sweetness, and I use one um, called Pure, P-Y-U-R-E, a couple scoops of that. And of course, you can just add a couple dates in if you want as well. I think I got everything in that's listed there. And now, oh, I have some frozen zucchini. Um, you can use either ice cubes, but sometimes I buy too many zucchinis and I'm like, oh, they're gonna go bad. So I cube them up and freeze them in a Ziploc. And that um, is a perfect way to add body to your smoothie and also to get more nutrition and more raw foods in your diet. Cause this is making it like you're adding vegetables to your smoothie. And you can also just use ice cubes. Okay, so here we go. We're going to blend it. Cafe always told the employees it's a smoothie not a chunky because I would see smoothies going out that had like chunks of blueberries in it so you just want to make sure you get it smooth enough that it's really creamy this one's looking pretty good um, if you can see that I'll pour it into this jar so these are really fun you guys have probably seen these you can get these tops wherever you buy your mason jars but it's a great way to take your smoothie in the car with you take it on the go and um, oh no nope, there's still lots of chunks in this but that's okay I'll blend it later. <laughs> so this recipe makes one serving, which is about two cups, as you can see. And then you can put this in there and then you don't spill it in your car or you can just give it to your kids or whoever and have this nicely packed little smoothie to go. So do we have any questions on the smoothie or the ingredients? I don't see any in the, the chat area in Zoom. Jeff, are there any on Facebook? No, I don't have any on Facebook. Elena, I love the frozen zucchini. Um, I love the zucchini ice cubes. Yeah. I've done zucchini. I mean, it's mild. It's great to uh, get some more vegetables in a smoothie. Yeah, and especially with summer coming, right? We're all growing gardens, or at least I am. And like, you get like all these zucchinis, what do I do with them? So just chop them up and freeze them on a cookie sheet and then throw them in a Ziploc after they're frozen and you can keep them for weeks in the freezer. I was gonna ask you, Jeff, if you had any comments on any of the ingredients I used, cause I know these are your, like this is your baby. These are your things you've accumulated over the years that you think are the best things for people. Well, we have come out with those Zura blends just to make it easier when people travel and um, you can still get your green drink or your smoothie in a hurry, even if you're at home. And we have a Zura berry and the Zura mushroom. Yeah, this one. Yeah, nice. So yeah, that's, that's you know, if you want convenience, you know, buy that. And we also sell all the in individual ingredients. And I like it how it comes in these cart. The bag is in the cardboard canister. So, you know, it's really easy to keep in your cupboard because nobody wants a bunch of bags in their cupboard. So this is nice because I can open my cupboard and see exactly what it is. And I'm not like trying to dig through five, six, seven, eight bags of things to find what I want. Yeah, we are. We've been working on new packaging, you know, and we still are. I mean, it's an ongoing process. <laughs> Yeah, of course. As but we, I agree. I use a lot of ball jars too. Dump yeah. stuff in the jars. I'm all covered as ball jars because I always dump all my pocket my products into ball jars. Yeah. But you got to remember to label them all. That's right. <laughs> well, Lena, thank you so much. I appreciate that. That was an awesome presentation, and we learned so much. Now, for those that are watching, if you didn't catch all the ingredients, don't worry. We are. We have already sent out the recipes, but we are going to send them out again. What I ask is that you make sure you check your email. Um, and if you don't see it in your main email, if you're on, um, you know, Gmail, you might need to look in the promotions area. Sometimes it throws it in different sections or worst case scenario, check your junk mail. Uh, some of these uh, email providers are doing some crazy things lately and things end up in junk mail that you don't want there. So please look for those. Um, and for everyone, I will be, we have recorded this Zoom presentation and I will be posting that in the Facebook as well as I will be sending that out to everyone as well. So you will have these presentations and you can, um, you know, if you missed anything or you, if we went too fast on anything, 
you will have all the information. So I think that's it for today. Does anyone have anything else? Um, I'd like to say that if you have, like, if you make the smoothie today and you have questions, write them down and either email them to Helen or come tomorrow and put it in the chat. And tomorrow I'm going to make a big fat salad with ranch dressing, a vegan ranch, of course, using natural zings cashews. So come back tomorrow and learn all the ins and outs of why salads are so amazing. I know it's one of Jeff's favorite foods, so um, <laughs> mine too. So yeah, so we'll be here all week and we're happy to answer any questions on you know, nutrition and on how to make things. Very good. So we'll see everyone tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks. Absolutely. Thank Bye. you.